Kelly Mead. Welcome to Crash Course Biology. Many important molecules are made from repeating subunits called monomers. When many monomers join, it's called a polymer. <laughs> Biological polymers form by dehydration synthesis reactions. This is my key. Yellow is monomer. That's hydrogen, hydroxyl, water, bond. Each monomer in this reaction has a hydrogen and a hydroxyl group. In the course of a reaction, the hydrogen is moved from one monomer and the hydroxyl group from the other. The hydrogen and hydroxyl group combine to form water and a bond links the two monomers. Now, let's get more in depth. <laughs> The first glucose monomer provides a hydroxyl group, while the second glucose monomer provides a hydrogen atom. The hydroxyl group and hydrogen atom are attracted to each other because the oxygen in the hydroxyl group is highly electronegative. Because of that reaction, they form a covalent bond and a water molecule is formed. However, the leftover oxygen is not used until later. The two glucose monomers are bonded with the leftover oxygen atom. You see as I'm talking slower because I talk too fast and I have filmed this like five times trying to talk slower. Dehydration synthesis between two glucose monomers yields a maltose polymer and a water molecule. Since a water molecule has been removed during the process of making the polymer, it is ultimately an example of dehydration synthesis. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> and if you have any questions about dehydration synthesis, feel free to email me.